cooler months of the year, our shallow reefs in our bays and offshore waters become a magnet for migrating snapper. With a bit of good technique, you can get right in among some great fishing action. If you're new to soft plastics fishing, I'm about to start an afternoon session and I'll show you a really easy way to help you play with your local snapper. As the sun gets lower in the sky, I'm starting to look for a good place to start fishing. I'm exploring a bit of reef sitting in 12 to 14 metres of water, and what I'm looking for is concentrations of bait and fish hopefully in the same place. And then what I'm going to do is reposition my boat a good cast distance away from that spot. The reason being, I don't want the noise of an anchor, or in this case an electric motor on the front of the boat making noise to spook those fish. Find them, and then get a good cast distance away, and you're ready to cast the line. To start the session this afternoon, I'm going to experiment. I'm going to experiment with sizes and styles of soft plastics, and also my jig heads. I've got a couple of styles of plastics. I've got a minnow style, and also paddle tail and curl tail grubs. The real key to catching your fish on soft plastics is getting the weight of your jig head right. Because we're only in 12 metres of water, I'm going to start out light, a quarter of an ounce. And a very key part of getting fish to bite is to get your soft plastic rigged straight on the hook. You really want it to swim like it's designed to do. You really need this soft plastic to be sitting straight in every dimension on the hook. That way it's going to swim like it's designed. It's going to look realistic in the water as it's going to make the fish come along and want to chew on it. From a stationary boat, there's two predominant ways to fish these soft plastics. The first is a more active way. I've got a current which is pushing forward of the boat. What I want to do is, boat being held stationary by my electric motor, I've cast the plastic as far up the current as I can. Then I'm engaging the reel. And I'm going to sit there and watch my line. This will gradually sink under a tight line. Any slight tap in the plastic or weight loading up means a fish has grabbed it. You need to lift and start winding. Once that lure hits the bottom, that line will noticeably slacken off. And then I'm going to give it a few slight hops, keep the line tight, and let it go back to bottom. I'm going to work the bottom a little while. If I don't get a bite, I'll cast it out and start the whole process again. The next approach I often use is a very passive approach with soft plastics. It uses a bit of burley, and if you've fished with pilchards for snapper on a tight line, you'll be very familiar with this style of chasing them. What I'm going to use is two rods, lightly weighted soft plastics. I've got my current pushing across the back of the boat. First thing I'm going to do Make sure my plastics are rigged right. I'm going to cast down current. A little bit of line off the reel. Check the drag is loose. Place that rod in the rod holder. Get my other one. Make sure the plastics are rigged right. You can vary your plastics so you've got a few varieties to throw at them to see what they like. Check your drags are loose. That rod in the rod holder. Start throwing out a bit of burley into the current. Then what I'm going to do is just simply let these two soft plastics drift under a tight line and that way I'm covering geographically a fair bit of water and also different water columns, particularly if I start alternating the cast. Then it's a case of simply sit back, watch, hopefully let one of those rods load, let the rod holder do the work, hopefully you'll be winding them in in no time at all. There it is. There it is. That's a good one. Oh yes. Solid fish. This is what we do this for. This is exactly what we do this for. It is so much fun. Oh yes. Lay light snapper fishing with plastics is all about. Yes. Chasing a snapper in shallow water is all about light to medium weight spin outfits. Seven foot rod three to six kilos or four to eight kilos, match it up with a suitable size reel, around that 3,000 size is good for your shallows, 20 pound braid and a good two to four metre leader. Depending on how light you want to go, you can go anywhere from 10 to 20 and even 30 pounds depending on structure. An outfit like that, give you hours of pleasure chasing your snapper in the shallows. The most important part to catching your snapper on soft plastics is your jig head weight. And the key is early in your session to experiment until you get it right. The broad rule of thumb is to get your soft plastic to sink to bottom as slowly as physically possible. And the way to do that is to keep experimenting until you get the presentation right. What I do once I've cast that plastic out is watch the angle of the line. I want it to very, very slowly steepen in the water to let me know the plastic's getting towards bottom. If it's not getting down or it gets down too quick, just keep changing until you get that very, very slow presentation. That's what the snapper want. There we go. That's a snapper. Gonna get him up here, shallow reef. Gotta be close to bottom now. Very close to bottom, I reckon. 
<laughs> That's something made it all worthwhile. Lightly weighted soft plastics. That's what it's all about. <laughs> yes. <laughs>